Konnichiwa everyone! Today I'm super excited because we're at the Tokyo Ramen Festa. And it's being held at Komazawa Olympic Park, which is where the 1964 Olympics were held, which is super cool because it's really well maintained. But anyway, let's eat. My name is Hannah and this is What You Hannah Do, Tokyo Ramen Festa 2023. Woo! What you Hannah do, what you Hannah do when they come for you. The Tokyo Ramen Festa is held every year and it's considered one of the biggest ramen events in Japan. A lot of people come to this event because you can experience ramen from different parts of Japan, and this year, some ramen from different countries. For Tokyo's Ramen Festa, there's actually what they call two acts. Each act has 15 different ramen shops. For Act 1, these were the restaurants featured and the ramen that they sold. Kastsuryu's Rich Sea Urchin Ramen, Mami Tengu's Grilled Hida Beef Sukiyaki Chashu Takayama Ramen, Go Tora's Kagoshima Shoyu Tonkotsu Ramen, Nakamura Shoten's Naniwa's Golden Chicken Broth Ramen, Yata Ugui's Wagyu Shio Ramen, Inezo's Sapporo Aromatic Seared Pork Potato White Broth Miso Ramen, Menya Ultra's Ultra Special Rich Tonkotsu Ramen, Honke Daichi Asahi's Kyoto Ramen, Osakawara Stamina Loaded Beef Ramen, Miso Toyoko's Niigata Rich Miso Ramen, Menya Tyson's Rich Hakata Seared Pork Tonkotsu Ramen, Mentokoro Guriko's Rich Chicken Shio Ramen with Homebred Chicken and Seto Uchi Sardines, Shinshunya Honten's Yamagata Golden Cherry Chicken Chinese Ramen, Menya Hakushin's Rich Shrimp Miso Ramen, and last but not least, Ramen Kurume Honda Shoten's Rich and Creamy Tonkotsu Kurume Ramen. I won't be able to finish all 15 bowls, so we actually pre-picked four ramen bowls for today to show you, and I'm super excited. <laughs> I'm hungry. Smells so good. Okay, so we have here our first bowl of ramen. I'm looking at it, it looks beautiful with a clear soup and the beef and the noodles are perfectly placed. The smell is amazing. And this is a Wagyu beef salt ramen. Originally from Wakayama, which is south of Osaka, we're starting off with a really light soup. So this is a shio or salt based ramen broth. And the salt is made from kuroshio or black salt, made from the seawater of Nanki, Kumano. It's described as being slightly sweet salt. So I'm really excited to try it out. And the beef that comes with it is called Kumano beef, which is raised on 100% plant-based feed. Let's give it a try. Itadakimasu. As always, we try the soup first. Oh, wow. Even though it is clear broth, it's very, very flavorful. It's savory. I taste a little bit of sweetness from the kuroshio, kind of like an aftertaste. I love it. I also taste a lot of the beef in the soup. It's paired with quite thin noodles, which I expect of shio ramen. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, mm. very smooth texture, very light on the tongue, glides easily, not super chewy, just right. Try some of the beef. Oh, oh wow, that just melted in my mouth. Wow, even the beef is a little bit sweet, not overly sweet. The taste of the beef is definitely there, it just has a sweet aftertaste. <gasps> Delicious. Just had a bite with all of the ingredients together and it blends so beautifully with each other none of the ingredients fight with each other mm. very light and pleasant taste delicious Next up, we have this beautiful bowl of rich Hakata Tonkotsu seared pork ramen. 
Wow, this looks like it's packed full of flavor. It looks like it's super rich. And I know you really love tonkotsu or pork broth based ramen. And this is from Fukuoka, the birthplace of tonkotsu ramen. This bowl of ramen actually won the championship at the New York Ramen Contest in 2018. That says a lot about this bowl. So this bowl is from Menya Tyson. Tyson, like Mike Tyson. I'm not sure if it's named after the boxer, but Menya Tyson. You have to try the soup first. Ooh, ooh, very rich pork flavor. So if you're really into that, you're gonna love, love, love this. So far from the two stalls we visited, everybody looks like they're having so much fun. <laughs> when they saw me filming them putting the toppings, they kept saying, wow, wow. <laughs> and I loved it. Try some of the seared pork. Mm, seasoned beautifully, very peppery taste. Mm, mm. A little bit sour, which was unexpected. A beautiful combination with a pepper. Mm. Mm. Let's try the noodles. Like the first bowl we had, this is also kind of like a semi-thin noodle, which is which always pairs well with tonkotsu. Mm, good. The broth is so full of flavor. Very, very pork, gamey flavor that I want some rice to go with this bowl of ramen. It really lives up to its name. It's super rich. Overall, a great bowl of tonkotsu ramen. I got this one. Stop, stop it. I can't wait to try this next bowl. And this is from Ezo. And they are from Sapporo in Hokkaido, which is in northern Japan. Sapporo city in Hokkaido is known for its miso ramen. And this particular bowl of ramen was cooked with a lot of potatoes. This is called the Sapporo aromatic seared pork potato white broth miso ramen. I personally really love miso ramen. It's one of my favorite ramen. It's got seared pork, it's got bamboo shoots. The noodles are quite different from the first two bowls that we tried. So this is a medium thick noodle and I can see that it's not straight. It's got some sort of texture. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be super chewy. Let's dig in. I'm going to try the soup first, of course. Ooh. The taste of potato is quite overwhelming. I would say maybe more potato flavor than miso. I definitely also taste the miso, but more potato. Mm. Mm. Noodles are just what I said, super chewy. With the broth, the noodles kind of make it a little sweet. So the taste changes with the noodles. Ooh, interesting. Very, very interesting. Now I want to try the aromatic seared pork. Hmm. Hmm. I can't really explain the flavor. It's something that they use that makes the pork a little bit more fragrant than just your normal seared pork. Pleasantly surprised. I've tried a lot of miso ramen before. Never tried this one. In the description that they put on the website, it says like a new type of Sapporo ramen. It's quite new to me. After having two very rich soup bowls, we have here from Kyoto, from the store called Daiichi Asahi, a beautiful bowl of Kyoto ramen. So this is a pork broth based, but it's more of a shoyu or soy sauce ramen. So they focus more on the soy sauce than the pork part of the broth. It's also topped with chashu, a roasted pork, a little bit of moyashi, and some onion leeks. The noodles are considered thin, but I think this is a little bit thicker compared to the the first shio ramen or salt based ramen that we had earlier. I'm sure it'll mesh really, really well. This store, Dai Ichi Asahi from Kyoto, once it opens its doors at 6 a.m., there's a long line outside and it takes about two hours to get a bowl like this. It smells absolutely delicious. I will try, of course, always, as always, the soup first. I'm sure this will be so light compared to the tonkotsu and the, and the miso ramen that we had earlier. Very, very, it's very savory. Not too oily. I was expecting it to be oilier because it is a pork broth base, but it's so much lighter. I really taste the soy sauce. It's salty and also a little bit sour. Really good. Lovely. This is a great break from all of the rich soups that we had prior. 
Very smooth texture. Carries the soup really well. Try some of the chashu. Mm, 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 good. I love how it's thinly sliced. Not too gamey at all. Overall, a very easy bowl of ramen to eat. I feel like even if I eat this whole bowl, it won't leave me feeling extremely heavy after. Mm. Mm. Today we're back at the Tokyo Ramen Festa 2023 for Act 2. Act 2 means that there's going to be a totally new set of ramen today. Last week we tried, I would say, the more OG style ramen. So we had chio ramen, shoyu ramen, tonkotsu, and miso ramen, which I feel like gives you a good variety of different types of ramen here in Japan. But today we want to try something maybe a little bit more interesting, a little bit more complex. Let's go. For Act 2, these are the restaurants and ramen they featured. Ganja's Super Rich Blue Crab Tonkotsu, Inaniwa Chinese Soba's Premium Inaniwa Chinese Soba, Sendai Kuroku's Beef Tongue Chinese Ramen, Asian Shokudo's Kitakata Ramen, Momiji's Rich Tonkotsu Ramen, Sapporo Misono's Seared Pork Miso Ramen, Kodawari Ramen's Espuma Tonkotsu Ramen with Lobster from Brittany, Naberabo's Tokyo Backfat Chinese Soba, Kimuzukashiya Shinshu Chicken Broth Ramen, Kanazawa Shinsen's Rich Miso Flame Meat Overlaid Noodles, Koboshi Ramen's Kyoto Duck and Raosu Kelp Shio Ramen, Shishimaru and Sugore's Ise Lobster Chicken Paitan, Ramen Kurume Honda Shoten's Original Tonkotsu Kurume Ramen, Sobar's Chicken Broth Ramen Colors Red, and Shinshu Nyahonten's Shrimp Spicy Chicken Broth Ramen. So just like last time, I can't eat all 15 bowls, so we chose three for today. I've never seen a bowl of ramen that looks like this before. So this ramen, or Kodawari ramen, is actually from Paris, from France. So I'm very interested in what it's gonna taste like because it's definitely fusion ramen. I'm pretty sure the techniques of making ramen still there, but the ingredients are quite European. So the broth is a thick pork bone broth, but it also has shrimp and lobster in it. It also has Iberico pork, some sort of French fish cake, some sea bean asparagus, uh, which I don't even think I've ever tried before, and the noodles are made of French wheat. Very, very interesting. The soup is quite foamy. I've never seen this before, so I'm excited to dig in. This specific restaurant from France has had Michelin stars ever since 2020. Once again, extremely excited to dig in. So for act two, itadakimasu. Of course, I will try the soup first. I don't know what to expect. Oh, I was expecting the soup to be kind of richer because it is a pork bone broth, but it's very light. The flavor is very delicate. I don't taste much of the shrimp. Maybe that's just me. Ooh, I love the pepper that they put on top. It gives the soup a little bit of an extra kick. So it's very savory, but it's not heavy. Mmm, oh, lots of flavor in the noodles. Love it with a lighter pork bone broth soup. Quite delicious. They also have some red onions here, so interesting. Try some of the Iberico pork. Very, very fatty. Very fragrant compared to your typical Japanese chashu. Mmm, I think I would prefer Japanese chashu more, but for this bowl, everything works well together. I'm not the biggest fan of pork bone broth, but it's quite good. Try some of the French fish cake. Mm. Texture is not your normal fish cake. It's very soft. It's not as bouncy as the fish cake that I'm used to here in Japan, but works well with the rest of the bowl. Pleasantly very, very surprised. Next up is this, wow, actually very beautiful bowl of toripaitan ramen from Kagoshima. It's from a restaurant called Sobar, and this bowl actually won a ramen grand prix. I'm a little scared of how spicy it might be because it's quite red. So this is a toripaitan broth. If tonkotsu is a pork bone broth, toripaitan is a chicken bone broth. So I'm pretty sure I'll be able to taste chicken bone marrow in the soup. So this ramen also has 
spicy minced meat made with spicy miso and special chili oil. The minced meat actually looks super good and it also comes with the soft boiled egg and chashu of course. The noodles are medium thick and the soup is supposedly slightly rich. The colors on this bowl, just gorgeous. Okay, so soup first. Oh man. <coughs> oh man, this is delicious. Let me be the first to say that I'm not really the biggest fan of tori paitan, of chicken bone broth soup. I'm not the biggest fan of like chicken cartilage or anything like that, but this is delicious. It's just the right amount of spiciness. Mm. Mm. And with the onion leeks, ooh, delicious. The red onions as well. Ooh. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Love it with these thick noodles. Perfect match. Ooh, it is spicy, but not overwhelmingly spicy that I don't enjoy the food or that I can't taste the flavors. This is just the right amount of spice. Try a bit of the chashu. Just your regular chashu. I'm not surprised this one. To cap off Tokyo Ramen Festa, we wanted to go with something super simple. So last but not least, we have this ramen bowl from Akita Prefecture. And Akita is known for its inaniwa noodles or inaniwa udon. And I think maybe this is inspired from that. This is called inaniwa soba. And inaniwa udon is very popular in the Tohoku region, but it comes from Akita. It's 100% locally sourced ingredients to make this type of noodle and the broth is very very simple it apparently according to the website it's a blend of Japan's three major local chickens Hinai chicken and it's a shoyu based ramen so they put a bit of soy sauce in it as well the noodles are quite thin compared to the rest of the other noodles the broth will be slightly light which I prefer right now and it's also topped with chashu menma or bamboo shoots and Hinai chicken I've always been a fan of clear broth. I'm pretty sure this is going to be good. Mm. It always surprises me when very clear broth is so flavorful. It's actually quite oily, which I didn't expect. Mm. Very, very strong chicken flavor. Ooh. <laughs> wow. It tastes how it looks. Very, very smooth. It glides in the tongue. Very easy to eat. Noodles are very different from all of the other ramen bowls that we've tried so far. I'll try the Hinai chicken. Hmm. One thing I can say about this bowl is that the chicken flavor really shines. Hinai chicken tastes a lot like free range chicken. It's delicious. It's actually quite hot right now. It's about 25 degrees. This will probably taste even better in cooler or colder weather. I love the flavor of this bowl. I just wish it was a little less oily. I just learned that the function of oil in ramen is to keep the soup hot, which is quite interesting actually. I never knew that. Mm. I feel like the texture of the noodles is more like a thin version of udon than actual like ramen noodles. Actually a big fan of the noodles. Mm. Seven bowls of ramen. Gochisosama deshita. I have in front of me, for me, the perfect Japanese dessert, especially on a very warm day. And it's been warm today. And we've been eating a lot of hot bowls of ramen. So this is going to be a great end to the whole experience. And this is a mango yogurt kakigori or Japanese mm. shaved ice. Mm. Sweet and sour. The ice is very, very soft. Mm, this is delicious. Absolutely delicious. Mm. The Tokyo Ramen Festa happens every year. So this is a perfect place to go to if you want to experience different types of ramen. As you noticed in the video, there are ramen from all over Japan, even from different countries in the world. So it's a great event to go to, especially if you're coming here October or November. I will put the link to the official website in the description box down below so that you can find out when the next event will be for the following year. So I highly recommend you add it to your itinerary the next time you come here to Japan around this time. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, click like down below. And if you want to see more content about Japan, you know what to do. So until next time, Janet and see you in the next video.